let's take the A balloon rises from rest on the ground with a constant acceleration. One meter stone is dropped when the balloon has risen to height that it finds the time taken by the stone to reach the ground. So this is the this is a ground. A balloon rises from the ground with a constant acceleration. A stone is dropped from the balloon. Okay, here is the stone which is attached to it. Let, let's have let's have this assumption. Find the acceleration of balloon A B as I it. That is one meter per second square. It is going to accelerate a balloon. Somewhere when balloon is as risen to height. Here, the stone will be dropped from it. Then what is the velocity of the balloon? That will be the velocity of the stone. The balloon will be moving with a velocity, say u, at that instant. Or, or, or you can write some u1 the stone also will be moving with a ub i'll write it let this velocity of balloon be vb vb1 i'll write it and this is stone so this is this height is what available for us 39.2 meter g not given so value of g will take it 9.8 What is the path of the stone due to inertia of motion? So that the stone is going to descend, will ascend, then it will descend, and finally it will strike the ground. The, the stone is going to come and strike the ground the, with a the velocity Vs. Time taken by the stone to reach the ground. So let me call this is one, two, three, this is four. Where the balloon will be, balloon will keep on ascent. The balloon will continue its motion. It will continue its accelerated motion and somewhere it is here. It will have some velocity, say VB2. Further, it will be at certain height. Let, let, let me keep this question here. No, no further again, again, what is the uh, state of the balloon? The balloon will further ascend and it will be somewhere here. Please try to analyze the motion, how that motion completely takes place. Uh, this will be VB3, VB3, you write it. I may ask you when the stone strikes the ground, where the balloon will be, all, all that. So what is our primary question? Time taken by the stone to move from position two to position four. What is the acceleration of the balloon? It is one meter per second square. So let's calculate the velocity of balloon VB1. Mm, yeah, I can proceed here. VB1, uh, this should be equal to it will accelerate from rest VB1 square minus zero square equal to two times of acceleration of balloon into H. H is 39.2 meter. This, if you want, we'll write it as H. To acceleration of balloon one, H is 39. Oh, so many calculations are there. <laughs> 39.2 into 2, 78.4, and the root of it.
78.4, okay, now, now what actually happens when the stone is released, the stone will have the velocity of the balloon due to inertia of motion, will not be at rest the stone. The stone, so this, what is this? Path of a stone. The, due to inertia of motion, the stone will have the velocity of balloon. So what is the reason we can give? Due to inertia of motion, the stone will have the velocity of balloon at the instant of release. Not every time, eh? at an instant of release. Okay, therefore this velocity of initial velocity of stone should be VB1, which is equal to 8.85 meter per second. And we know also H, so what is the time of time of flight of the stone? It will be minus H is equal to US, time taken to move from two to four, plus minus G, The, the same minus h equal to ut plus of s equal to ut plus of it is square formula. So this will be 39.2. So this will be 8.85 t24. G will be 9.8. I think very big calculation for all. <coughs> so this we have to solve it. I'll try my level best. So 9.8 will be uh, will be 4.9, 4.9 whole square t24 whole square minus 8.5 t24 minus 39.2 equal to zero. Quadratic equation solving this. Uh, this will be minus of uh, I'm a quadratic equation. This quadratic equation we are solving it. So this by divided by all divided by two into four point nine. So eight point eight five all square. Oh, oh, I'll try my level best to. Even calculator also will take some time. We have to do 8.85 whole square. 78.325. This will be plus. 4 into 4.9 into 39.2, 768, folded by 9.8, 768.32. Plus 78.32. 0.3225846 will get it. Eight forty six point six two five six four two five. I'm using calculator. Thirty point four one. I'll get it. Time cannot be negative. Time cannot be negative. So therefore, this will be plus thirty point four one. 
eight point eight five thirty nine point two six divided by nine point eight. Around four will come. This will be your answer. What is the time of flight? Time taken. Okay, this for this for the equation. No? Time taken to move from two to four. Uh, at what height balloon will be there? Can we calculate all these things? For that we know VB one. Uh, further, we have to calculate this, this particular height ascended. Call some H three or anything <coughs> H three. So for that, what, what we needed, it's going to accelerate with an acceleration one. At what height balloon will be when stone is striking the ground? Okay, it, it, there was nothing is there. Our answer is this one. Okay, for further we'll explore things. For that, uh, to what height it will ascend in in this interval of time? So H three should be equal to V B one T two four plus A T two four all square. Then the height of the balloon will be. H plus H three. When stone striking the ground, the balloon will be at this side from the ground. So what is this? Will be at this side. When stone is. Striking the ground. Now you have to solve this. You have to calculate this one. Now with what speed balloon will be moving? V B three equal to V B one plus A into T two four. So what is again speed with which balloon will be moving when the stone is striking the ground? 